this last year, but in case you're not, uh, we uh, brought Kathy Kelly last fall to uh, speak. We also brought uh, Matt Rothschild, who is the editor of the Progressive Magazine, um, to speak. We also had um, um, a special program with Chuck Kaufman, who is the head of the um, uh, organization that does a lot of work in Nicaragua and Venezuela. Honduras. Yeah, in Honduras, right? And uh, he spoke about his experiences in, in that area. And we also had a special exhibit for the Hiroshima um, to mark the anniversary date of the bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki with uh, posters that were uh, pictures of that whole event of the creation of the atom bomb to the dropping of it on Hiroshima and to the aftermath of that. that um, we had that exhibit at the Home Student Center in the gallery. And it was a very moving exhibit, and I think it really affected a lot of people, so I think that was a very a positive event that we hosted. We also were in the Memorial Day Parade again this year. Um, some folks that were there, would want to say anything about the Memorial Day Parade and what that was like? Steve Captain, were you part of walking in this year? Um, yes, uh, we uh, didn't have, a, we had, well, there were so many people, so many pictures of the uh, soldiers from Illinois that had been killed in Iraq and Afghanistan. We didn't have enough people to carry them all, so um, Bill and Jane Ann went ahead to the park to uh, put them up uh, ahead of time for us. So many of them were set up already when everyone streamed into the park, so that was, that was a nice um, uh, in, uh, change from last time. And then we carried them through the parade and then hung up the rest of them at the park for the program. Um, Didn't you say you got a, a real response from the people clapping along yeah, the way? Yeah, we got a lot oh, of Oh, sure, as usual. No yelling and screaming like we, we did before, but there was, people were so friendly and clapping for you this year when you went by in the parade. Good to hear. Of course, I, they're, they're clapping, I think we should be clear, was, was for the, the soldiers uh, who had lost their lives, right. not for us. Yeah. No, but for the whole idea of remembering those. Yeah those young people who won't come back. <laughs> Um, we also sponsored students to go to the uh, School of America's vigil that happens every year in November at the gates of Fort Benning, Georgia. Um, for those people that may not be aware of what that is, the School of America's is a training facility on the, on the Fort Benning uh, grounds where they train soldiers from other uh, Central American countries and South American countries. Um, they, the school became famous in the 1980s when uh, the death squads for El Salvador were trained on, at Fort Benning by American soldiers, American generals who was training. Then the soldiers went back to their own countries and um, were involved in killing innocent, Open the door. innocent citizens. And it's the red button on the left. Um, Seal and Wally, I had on the agenda for you to give a report about the Central American Fund for Human Development. Do you have anything you'd like to say about your work this year and what the money went for? Well, we were able to send um, $10,000 to Casa Materna, and we added another $5,000 for the, for the ambulance. And we were notified later that they had purchased the ambulance, thanks for our extra donation. Casa Materna is, in, is a home for uh, expectant mothers uh, in the last week of pregnancy in an area where the infant, uh, maternal infant uh, mortality rate is sky high. And over the years, they've served like 12,000 mothers, and they've only lost one mother and mm -hmm. no baby. And this is in Nicaragua? Nicaragua. In Nicaragua. It's in Managua, Nicaragua. It's a former, former Cuban ministry. Al and I visited there once. It's a beautiful spot. And when the uh, United States managed to get the Sandinista government out, of course, and our little flunky in there, uh, they sent the Cubans home. But so they gave this, and it, so it's really a nice spot. And they also uh, give them uh, education on birth control, and if they want to, give them a little assistance in that area. Yeah. And I think the only mother they lost over all those years was one who had had a, a young mother that had many pregnancies, and they had warned her that she really should control it, and the husband wouldn't hear of it, and so she got pregnant and she did die. 
but that's the only one that they cost all this year. And the ambulance is to transport them when they're ready to deliver to a hospital. Casa Materna takes care of them preparing, and then when the babies are born, come and the babies are nurtured there as well. But the hospital, they can get the ambulance ride, thanks to the all of you good people. Who the mothers walk sometimes barefoot for miles to catch a ride on the back of a truck from out in the countryside to get a ride into Casa Materna. But then once they get there, Casa Materna takes care of them and their babies and gets them good from the hospital. And then we also funded the other two uh, branches of the Central America Fund, Super Amos and Fundici. And there's, there's uh, preschools to keep the children off the streets. If you drive through the streets of any uh, Nicaraguan city, and you don't have your windows rolled up. You are just besieged by people selling ch checklets or hammocks or just begging. They're just at you, and the children are there. But the children that are in the preschool are fed and educated, and, and they also help the mothers. And they they have uh, Jim Merritt. Did, how many of you knew who Jim and Helen Merritt were? Well, they gave enough money that they have a, a health their health clinic named after them. And, and they provide life-saving medicines and education. Thank you. Um, next on the agenda, I had down for the Peace and Justice Award to a graduating senior. Mm -hmm. 